First step is going to be locate your game files. Extremely easy. Wherever your install folder is, red game, click PC console, and we have all your files. Uh, specific character names are denoted by three letters of their name. Uh, for example, Kai Kiske would be KYK or Axel AXL, BGM background music, stuff like that. Uh, for this thing, we're just going to do quickly, uh, I'm going to do soul and we're going to do underscore M because the materials and the mash both start with an M. Uh, the material, we're just going to go and find the base color, which is going to be soul mat 101. It starts at 101 and then each individual alternate color above that starts, you know, added counting up. So we're going to copy that into the encrypted files folder. And then we're going to find the mesh folder, not the mesh cell one, just the mesh one. Copy that into there. We've done that. We can close out of there because we're not going to need it. And we're going to go back up and we're going to go and hit the decrypt files dot bat. Don't click anything. Let it run through until it says press any key to continue. Otherwise, the script will break. Let it run through, and we will have new folders. We have decrypted files and extracted. Extracted is just a bunch of uh, the packages and whatnot. Decrypted files is actually what we want to open up with UModel. Open up UModel. Change the directory to decrypted files only. Override game. Three. Change it to guilty key or exerd. Okay. And we will open up the mesh first, and we need to find the mesh that we need using page up and down. Cycling through, we've got his weapon. Uh, if you're going to find a model, I always recommend getting the model, the name of it, high 01, not the standard one. These are lower resolution ones during the actual combat, and these are higher resolution ones used cinematics or in the uh, single player. Uh, so we're going to find head high, we're going to go options, or tools options, and we're going to make sure that skeleton is set to GLTF, GLTF, texture formats TGA, and we can really quick hit and uncheck pop-up options on export. And then we're going to hit tools, export current object, or control X. For the head, that's one, and now we just need the body. Keep cycling, and we have the body. As you can see, it has this really low poly head. That's a collision box and whatnot, but we'll export that as well. So that's the meshes that we're gonna be working with. Now we need the actual textures, which you open up, pre press O to open this menu again. Click on the mat, O1, and we're gonna cycle through. We need to find SOL underscore SSS, or for the weapons, SOLW for weapon SSS, which we're not, we're not gonna get the weapon models. So SOL SSS, export, SOL decal, export, base, export, and we cycle through, last one is LILM, export. So if we go into the new U model export folder, mat, texture, we have four textures for the body. Uh, that's all we're gonna be working with in the video for the guide, so we'll close out of U model. Now we should need to import the meshes. We'll do file import GLTF, locate your exported model with U model export mesh, spell the mesh, and we're going to be doing head high for this video for now. Uh, we have the model, everything has the paintings as everything works fine, but as most people know, it does not have vertex color. And that is where the script comes in. So we'll drag the window over, open up text editor, hit open. We will go to the Guilty Gear script guide and we will use paint v2. If there is ever any time that a that it errors out or that a mesh generates but there's no actual mesh, try using v1, but v2 should work for every scenario now. We hit open, we can see the script is loaded, hit run, and now we need to locate our file. It's not actually the same GLTF. We are actually going to be going to the extracted folder, mesh. Sold mesh 01, and this is where we have the same mesh skeleton meshes. Uh, right now we are working with soul head high 01, so we're gonna locate the same one, soul head high 01, and hit import. You see it imported the model, but it's really big, so we just have to scale it down by 0 0.01. And this model, as you can see, does have the colors. Uh, so now we should, the thing is, it does not have anything such as a bone, doesn't have the vertex normals, doesn't have any weight painting or materials or anything. So we actually are just gonna do a data transfer to the good one. Really easy to do. We're gonna click on the good existing mesh, go to the modifiers tab, 
add modifier, data transfer, face corner data, vertex colors, and change mapping from nearest corner to topology. Change the source to the head high, and we'll hit generate data layers. As you can see, it has made the colors, but there are some errors. You can fix this by changing mix mode from replace to below threshold, and everything looks great. If you've done that, you can go ahead and apply and delete the old mesh. Now we have our proper mesh with weight painting, vertex normals, and the vertex colors ready to be used in any manner that you see fit.